On June 23, 2016, Janet Walker gave the greatest gift one could give, the gift of life. My cousin John was 10, 11 or so at the time, and he had had some issues a lot of his life. And finally they determined that the root cause was that he needed a kidney transplant. So when my Aunt Barbara, my dad's youngest sister, emailed the family, I didn't really hesitate. With the support of her whole family, it was decided that she could give this gift. Then once I was cleared, it was pretty quick. Uh, June 23rd was the transplant, so we all drove down on the 22nd. His last day of school was the 21st, and I heard he was bouncing off the walls with excitement. So we all went down to Pittsburgh, uh, took care of everything, and came home a few days later. Post-surgery, Walker has been able to give herself the gift of competition, traveling the world to compete in the CrossFit, Transplant, and Donor Games. These games have taken her throughout the U.S. and beyond, to countries like Mexico, Guatemala, Honduras, and Belize. I've done some other competitions, such as the Transplant Games of America, where other recipients and donors go and compete in all kinds of sports, including swimming. And in 2022, I went to San Diego and just had an amazing time. I, I enjoy the competitive energy. I am there to have fun, so if I don't come in first, I try not to let it get to me. If I know I swam my heart out, I got a good time for me, I'm good. During the recovery process, Walker found a home back in the water where she had experience from competitions in school. I swam in high school, loved being a part of the team, a lot of great memories. As soon as I was cleared to be in the water, it was very nice. Just use a kickboard and don't go for any specific speed or distance. Being in the water and stretching out, it just felt really good be in that nice cool water. Most recently in September, she competed in the Donor Games in Connecticut, placing fourth overall in the competition surrounded by other living donors. Now in Argentina, she will be competing as a swimmer in the Masters division in her first Pan American Games. For her, the surgery has helped her be grateful, and that's something she carries with her at all times. I guess what it helps me with mentally is I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful John is now 20, doing great. The people that I have in my life that support me, I'm so thankful for them. And I definitely take that with me in the water, their support, even if they're not physically in Buenos Aires, people have been following my journey, my training journey, the support. I'm just so thankful for all of it.